last but not least, I'm going to uh, present a few data points on uh, uh, app gaming. Um, I actually used to write a lot about mobile as well, um, 3G, 4G, WiMAX, if anyone still remembers what that is. Uh, but over the last three years, I've been focusing primarily on uh, video games, and uh, we do a lot of research and consulting for uh, the, the big publishers as well as the uh, small startups, uh, including a lot of social and uh, uh, mobile gaming companies as well. So um, you've heard uh, the, other, uh, the other analysts mention uh, gaming being one of the top categories today uh, in the app space. So I'm just going to drill down a little bit deeper on some of the uh, trends in smartphone uh, gaming as well as uh, tablet gaming. Um, so as you can see from this slide, um, about 81% um, of all the iPhone owners actually downloaded OnePlus apps in the last month compared to about 74% of the Android users. Uh, and uh, out of the top apps, this was fairly consistent to uh, what uh, Yanis and David presented earlier. Social networking, weather, and games are the top three categories across both platforms. So clearly, uh, gaming is what uh, a lot of the people are doing when they are spending time on their smartphones. And about 41% of all the smartphone owners actually have played games or used a game app on their uh, smartphone over the last month. And all the data points come from one of our syndicated offerings um, called New Media Measure. Uh, on a quarterly basis, we actually uh, survey 9,000 consumers in the US. And uh, we've been doing that for the last 20 quarters. So a lot of these data points came from that uh, uh, data set. And, um, I couldn't believe my number matches exactly with your number, Yanis. 53% uh, of the uh, uh, female, 53% uh, of the smartphone gamers are actually females. I think that's exactly your number as well. And uh, they are on average 32 years old. Um, and if you look at the split between Android and iOS platforms, uh, about 43% of the smartphone gamers came from the Android platform. Uh, about 30% came from the iPhone platform. Although gaming is actually more active and more popular on the iPhone, but uh, as you saw from the uh, uh, earlier presentations, uh, the penetration of Android has really caught up, and that, that kind of contributed to a, a bigger share for Android here. And um, if you look at uh, uh, the slide, uh, the chart below, uh, you can see, as I mentioned, the iPhone gamers or iOS gamers, uh, they are a little bit more active playing games than the uh, Android counterparts. About 42% of them have played games uh, over the last month and uh, versus 37% for the Android users. Um, some more comparison between the two platforms. Um, the uh, percentage of those people who have downloaded OnePlus apps in the past month um, among the uh, iPhone gamers, um, the uh, uh, percentage of people who have downloaded a free app is about 88%, very similar to uh, the Android platform. But what you notice here is among people who actually downloaded apps, a much, much larger percentage have downloaded a paid app on, on the iPhone uh, versus Android. Uh, actually the percentage doubles, 44% versus 22%. So as Yanis mentioned earlier, uh, iPhone still uh, monetizes a lot better for various reasons, and Android is a very fragmented market right now, and uh, the monetization uh, mechanism is not as, uh, as good as on iPhone yet. And um, also, if you uh, look at this from another angle, if you look at the total numbers of apps uh, downloaded by iPhone gamers versus Android gamers, it's 7.5 over the last past month for iPhone gamers versus 6.9 for Android gamers over the last month. And uh, also, among the uh, 7.5 games the iPhone gamers downloaded, they actually purchased about 20% of those versus among Android uh, gamers only 10% were actually purchased or paid for, and all the others are free apps. Um, 
the other thing you want to uh, pay attention to is the iPad. I mean, this device is definitely revolutionizing the uh, uh, gaming space, just like the uh, um, the iPhones and the, um, the iPod Touch did on the mobile uh, platform. And um, GameStop is coming out with their own uh, tablet uh, later this year or early next year. So clearly, they view this as an important platform uh, for the gaming industry. And uh, uh, just over less than two years, now uh, you have 8 million gamers playing on the iPad in the U.S. alone. And uh, uh, a year ago, that number was only 3.5 million. And um, what's more important is uh, the diversification of people uh, who actually play on the iPad. Um, you're looking at a much larger percentage of females. Uh, now it's 48% versus 40% from uh, uh, Q3 of last year. And also, uh, um, uh, slightly older uh, demographics as well, uh, 35 uh, plus, it's about 40% compared to 30% a year ago. Uh, it is fascinating because my wife never uh, picked up a controller in her whole life and then uh, she's been playing Plants vs. Zombies and now she's like level 8 and clearly killing zombies was a good way to relieve stress before she goes to bed. And my, uh, my, my two daughters, uh, I, I've got a seven-year-old and a three-year-old, they've been actually competing against my wife on the iPad. My three-year-old, uh, we used to only have one, and my three-year-old, every time I go on uh, a business trip and took my iPad, she's asking her mom, she's like, mommy, mommy, where's my iPad? So apparently it's her iPad. And uh, uh, my seven-year-old plays uh, uh, Lego uh, Harry Potter on the iPad as well. So it's definitely introducing a whole new demographics onto the uh, gaming platform. And um, eventually I had to convince my company to get me a work iPad so I can play games as well. Um, now, if you look at uh, um, their behavior on other platforms, very consistent to the demographics trends, uh, about 40% of the people who are currently playing iPad games, they've never played uh, on console, uh, like what I mentioned about my wife, um, compared to only 30% um, a year ago. So, and what was interesting was these new people who were introduced to the platform they do spend money, although they don't spend as much as the people who also play console games. But the bottom table shows um, even among people who don't play console games and only play iPad games, uh, about 52% uh, of them have downloaded paid apps over the last month. And uh, uh, on average, they've downloaded almost two paid games over the last month. So definitely, it's introducing a whole new demographics to the market and also uh, new mon monetization opportunities and new types of gameplay experience um, for the market. And there is a reason uh, Nintendo uh, just came out today and said they will be expecting uh, a recurring loss uh, for a pretty significant number for the, for the next few quarters. And I think it's 100 billion yen or something. And you, you just wonder, um, how iOS and uh, other smartphone and uh, tablet devices actually played into that. So that's my presentation, and we have about five minutes for the audience to uh, ask some questions. Um, we have one.